Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the imperative tense in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the imperative in Spanish. In Spanish, the following are examples of the imperative tense. With the subject usted, hable, coma, viva. There are also forms in Spanish that are irregular, like sea, este, tenga, salga. In English, to form the imperative tense, it is simple. You just say the verb in its simple form without the subject. Here are a few examples. Open the door. Pass the salt. Read the book. Deposit the money. Now, let's return back to Spanish and look at the imperative in negative sentences. In Spanish, to form a sentence in the imperative with the negative, all you do is put the word no in front of the verb. Here are some examples that show us how. No hable. No coma. No salga. No diga. No sea. In English, it is just as easy to form the imperative in negative sentences. All you do is you put the word don't in front of the simple form of the verb. Here are a few examples of the negative imperative in English. Don't open the door. Don't pass the salt. Don't read the book. Don't deposit the money. Remember, in the imperative tense, you do not say the subject. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice identifying sentences in the imperative tense in English. Okay, now that you know how to identify the imperative sentence in English, the next thing is to understand when to use the imperative tense. Rule number one, you use the imperative to give orders or commands or request that someone does or does not do something. Here are some examples. Be quiet. Clean up your room. Close the door. Put down the gun. The negative, as we have already seen, is formed by simply putting the word don't in front of the verb in the simple form. Here are a few examples. Don't be quiet. Don't clean up your room. Don't close the door. Don't put down the gun. Rule number two, the imperative is often used to give instructions or directions. For example, turn right at the light. Click to accept the terms. Do not park here. Wait your turn. Okay, let's review. The imperative is used to, number one, give orders, commands, or requests. Number two, to give instructions or directions. You do not say the subject when using the imperative voice. And to form the negative, you simply put the word don't in front of the verb in its simple form. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice forming 
the imperative tense in English sentences. Congratulations! Now you know how to use the imperative in English sentences. I will see you back here for the next lesson. Good luck!